Judge, this is the case of All Eyes on Me. Thank you, Nick. She says he's unkind and uncaring. He says she is simply confused. I'm going to talk to them both and then figure out what I'm going to say to the both of them. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Selena Frazier and Derek Thomas. The two of you have been together for three years, but you don't want to be together anymore. Ms. Frazier, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here today? And oh, by the way, Nick. Yes. She's suing for $140. $140. <laughs> for the shoes she destroyed while she was tracking him through the mud <laughs> to a, in a dirty field to catch him at a party. I just want you to know what the stakes were before we got started. So, Ms. Frazier, why don't you tell me what's going on here? Well, Your Honor, he is a trip. He thinks that he's 21 years old. He, everything is always about him. It's never about me. It, I, I ask him all the time how beautiful I look. He always say, oh, you got a mirror. You go use it yourself. But he could tell everybody around him that he, they pretty. That they pretty, they're they gorgeous. They sexy, they, they everything. But me, I never get it. It's all through the texts and everything yeah. on his phone. To Mr. Thomas, him. she says that you're, you're kind and courteous and complimentary to other women, but not to her. Why don't you tell me your version of that? Well, you know, that's not true at all. I do tell her she's sexy, she's beautiful. Maybe not every day. But a lot of women, I tell her that it's for a reason. She knows the reason. She just well, can't what is suck. the reason? Well, a lot of women, she, what she just said at the first beginning is not true at all. A lot of women flirt with me. I don't really flirt with women. Uh -huh. So I'm going to give them what they want. Why? <laughs> because they're going to give them what I want. Well, what do you want from them? That's what I want to know. Anything they got to offer, as long as it's worth my time. Okay. I'm so just keeping it real. Oh. Hmm. Anything they have to offer financially? Financially. Sexually? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to own that one. Nah, just financially. Oh, he just don't like doing that anyway, so that's probably true. Do women actually give you money? Yes. They do? Yes. What's the most you've ever gotten from a woman? Mm. At one time? Maybe $1,500. Wow. $1,500? Yes. What did you say to get that? Nothing. <laughs> I just be myself. Do what they want me to do, I guess, in their mind. You know what I mean? Just well, what please kind of them in their own way. What do they want you to do? Uh, I guess they're thinking me. I guess they think I'm gonna be their man after it's all said oh, and done. Oh, but... so you kind of lead him along well, a little bit. Yeah. Maybe yeah, I yeah. can pull him, and she pulls out the money. And... Well, yes, but remember now, I don't ask for that now. If they give it to me, I'm not gonna say you keep it. Okay, so why do you always say that I'm the one? I got to be doing something if my friends give me a ride. When, when my friend let me rent, or use they rent a car to go see my mom, you said I got to be doing something, but it's okay for you to be getting money and oh, stuff Oh, let from me somebody. tell you why he does it. He does it because he knows what he's doing. He, does, he, he questions any friendship or anybody who does anything to you because he knows that he's out there gaming women. That's why. Because he thinks the rest of the dudes are doing what you're doing. You know, what he's doing. That's what it is. Don't get, don't get confused by that. That's an easy one. <laughs> Listen, Thomas, what do you say is the problem in your relationship? Uh, well, I'll say lack of trust. Lack of trust. Lack of trust. No. Oh, you're the one that can't be trusted. You're the one that disappear every day. Can you tell me why you believe lack of trust is a problem in your relationship? <laughs> I already know, but I want to know what you think. Well, you know what? I would say this right here. Yeah, I understand maybe how she feels, but at the end of the day, I mean, it comes to my hand and goes straight to her hand. Mm -hmm. I think the problem with her is she don't just don't like me to be around other women mm -hmm. because she's a woman. Why she know what they're I? You got all that in well, your you phone. Know, but what you're stuff. saying is you game women, but you game women on both of your behalf. Yes, I do. Yes. And why do you got a woman picture with lingerie in your phone if you're not doing anything? Nobody's not going to send you that if they're just giving you money. Well, you know, like, well, you know, listen, like, this, like, it's like this. Women send me lingerie. Look, look at me, look at me, look at me. Yes, women do send me pictures of lingerie and whatever, but I mean, I guess that's how they feel. So that means you must have slept with the lady for the lady. No, let me, let, let, let me nah. explain this to you. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to just send you no naked picture. Uh, and yeah, that's you. Really. That's, that's, that's okay. you. Yeah, that's, you. Well, I won't do it. Well, that's I, you. I, I, okay, but... Yeah, you I can't ask help. people and send me, like, such... Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know them? Nothing. 
Oh, so you just... They just sent them. I don't know what it is. I don't know the problem. I don't ah, understand it. I'm just ah, telling you. Right. People do do well, that. See, I like that. But, it, like you know, that. when... It, <laughs> That's true. Well, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm glad, because you, you're on my side a little bit, because you can relate to that. That's what I'm saying. Like the shoes. Yeah, but you like it. I don't, I don't want it. See? I, I got, I'm, I'm, I got, I got look, no... I, I mean, got no... When they do that there, I'm, I'm expecting more Honor, than that. Like, like the shoes part. My shoes would have never got messed up. He's going to tell me I'm going down here to visit the kids, because the kids comes in and for town for Christmas. Here go him. He's at the park with a whole bunch of ladies. Well, you dropping know, it like you're hot in front of the car. That's and, not, that's but not. But I'm not allowed to go anywhere with him. Well, she's no. leaving some of the, some of, some things out. You, no, let, let me I'm ask you, I'm going to ask you one more you. thing. I'm not and then, to and then, the car. I, I'm going to ask you one more thing. You, you said in your papers that you had to upgrade her. <laughs> Yes, I did have to upgrade her because you know, when I met her, she dressed like maybe her aunt or somebody. Uh huh. I'm, I'm, old old fashioned. Fashioned. I'm always grandma or. But you don't like weave. No man. And you don't like and you don't like. But he wigs. likes the weave. The weave for the women, like the girls. You want her hair to be natural. But he, but well, yes. I compliment them. But when see, they one thing she's mistaken. Weave. I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to be with these women though. So I don't care how they look. They wear their makeup. Uh. I'm not I'm not waking up to them every morning either. So right. they can wear weave or. But be you want a natural. Woman. Woman. Yes, that's why I want her to be natural. Not every that's why woman I want that you with. got on your phone, every last one of them pictures. Well, tell me all. about. There seems to be a problem in the bedroom. <laughs> I understand that you're not getting enough sex. So why don't you tell me what the issue is? Just, what do you add to her life that is positive? A lot, because I motivate no, her. No, you but, don't. No, no, no. Tell me, tell me what it is. Tell me, just tell me what it is. to be a problem in the bedroom. Oh, it is a big issue with that. He goes out and makes sure he hangs out all day long. So that way, when he comes in, he's like, oh, I'm tired. Or he'll sit there and go in the bathroom and talk on his phone, be on the chat line or something. A couple times, I open up the bathroom door. He up there watching porns or whatever. And I'm like, what? I'm not happy enough for you. No, you don't, you don't move good enough. You move Wait, like a white it's, person it's, in nah, the bed. That's, that's not true. So I'm dead and... Yeah, she just, she just, she just, she just oh, little born in bed. No shade, white folk. No shade. <laughs> yeah. She, she just um, little born in bed. That's it. She just little born in bed. I mean, she's like, you know, no disrespect, but she just, she moves like a white girl on the dance floor, you know, barely can move. You know what I mean? Oh, so I can that's dance, That's the boring sweetie. part. <laughs> uh, my, everybody that well, I have been with never about had dance. a problem with me. You got to dance in the bed, though, not dance on the dance floor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I do. And I don't have no trouble at all. What, With man. all this, I know, baby, I got it. Miss <laughs> Frazier, I understand you have somebody you want me to listen to. Your sister's here on tape. Let's take a look at that. Hello, Your Honor. It's just ridiculous. I don't know why she's staying with him. She can't eat. She can't sleep. She really can't breathe. Just got to stop today because my sister needs her life back. about that. I think she's just looking from the uh, outside in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she doesn't really know the whole story. I mean, I, I mean, that's her sister. I mean, uh, what can I say? Uh -huh, I mean, uh -huh. but her sister what just... What do you add to her life that is positive? A lot, because I motivate no. her. No, you don't. No, no, no. Tell me, tell me what it is. Tell me, just tell me what it is. Well, as in further her education to do better at what she wants to do in life. You, you motivate her yes. to further no, he her education. No, he throws it in my face. Oh. I'm, I'm going to get to you. I really yeah. am. You motivate her to further her education. What else do you add to her? Well, I just want, when, I, when I talk to her, I just want to be happy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she knows what goes on with me when she met me. I mean, I'm not trying to make her feel no, less... No, I didn't. I don't Stop. care. Uh, I believe she did at, at the Are job. Are you working? Yes. Do you contribute financially to the household? Yes. Yes. Does he contribute financially to the household? Yes, he's good with that. He just can't stop cheating and being in women's faces what? and going out places all the time. So that's a lot of what's holding you back, right? Yes. Economically, it's, be it's easier to have him there. Is that right? Yes. I think women and men need to admit that more often than they do. You know what I mean? They do all these reasons I stay watch with you. Yeah, but, but the money will get crunchy if he goes. Right. What do you want from me? We need to go to a council because at the end of the day, 
You don't want to stop cheating. You don't listen to me at all. My phone rings, it's a problem. I can't even talk to the ex-in-laws, the aunties or anything. Once it's the Mr. relationship Thomas, over, it's supposed to be over with. Are you, do you have her on lockdown? Do you, do you control who she can talk to? Well, well, the problem started with when her ex tries to, you know, talk bad about me and then try to control the house that I pay bills at. So I have a problem with that issue. It's because she seems to listen to true. them more than me. That's not true. Are you nice to her? No, he's not. Never. Oh, really nice no, are you nice to her? No, he's are not. Really he nice is she to happy to see every you? Every relationship he's been in, they go to college, they got something in life. I have five baby mothers, and they're all college graduates. So I always told her, you know, I want you to go to college, you know, and, and, How and go the highest you can go. I went to college and I did try. And well, the then you got five babies' mothers. Friend. Do, do you pay child support for all of them? No, I always took care of my kids. They've been on child support. And that's another thing no, throw but, but, in my face well, do all you, the time. But you pay, you're economically involved and, and personally always. involved in all, all kids' lives. Always. Deal with your and she knows that. Dads, always. Baby dads, because they because don't they do are. anything. But my kids' mothers, because I they do are. everything I get, for them. I get them four and five hundred dollars. That's nothing to throw in my face about. Because they are deadbeats. That's not nice. No, I'm not a deadbeat. Do you do that? They're not deadbeats either. That's not being mean. That's being truthful. You don't want to hear... No, that's being mean. That's being mean. I know what's happening. I know exactly what's happening here. So you have to dictate to her that she's less than, not as good at as every opportunity that you get because it keeps her there. Don't tell me you don't because I know you do. Madam Frazier, let me say this to you. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. You don't think she's going to leave, do you? Uh, no. I think she may want to leave, but... I am uh, going to leave, because enough is enough. Well, we, well, my hair is kind of gray, and I, at my age, I should not have no gray hair. But you don't have any children with him. No. Let me tell you something. No woman with degrees got kids with him. You don't. That makes you smarter. <laughs> I'm happy to be there. I am beautiful. Uh, that's the smartest thing, thing you me, ever did, is not do that. And I know I am. You, you know, I, I tell she's beautiful. No, I you mean, don't. I, I mean, I maybe, maybe not enough. Maybe not enough. I think she just act like she's in competition with people and she's not. Oh, you make sure I'm in competition. Cause you make sure you bring up everything, what they drive. Let me tell what you kind of what's happening here. First, I'm gonna talk to him. I don't want you to say nothing to me. And I'm gonna talk to you. I don't want you to say anything to me. You have got a good thing. You got a, you got a, you got a woman at the house. She does what women at the house are supposed to do. You run around, you do whatever you want to do. You believe you have the complete right to do so. You have been, you have acted unimpeded throughout your entire life with respect to women. You go hither and yon from chick to chick to woman to woman and you do as you please and you, do, you don't commit to them, you don't stay and the environment has allowed you to get away with it. Now you got her and it's nice having a woman at the house because we do stuff for you. We, we, we make sure it's okay for you. Right. It's nice to keep it clean and keep the food and all that kind of stuff. So you keep it there. And in order to make sure she stays, what you do is you make sure she continues to feel small. If she felt beautiful, if she felt worthwhile, if she talked to people other than you, like her in-laws or her exes or whatever like that, she might begin to think that she was somebody. She might have somebody in her head other than you that tells her that she's a fabulous person and don't need you. But since you got her installed in your life and are doing her wrong and want to continue to do that, you have to control all the information that goes to her. You have to control what happens to her. You have to control how she feels about herself. So you have to dictate to her that she's less than, not as good at as every opportunity that you get because it keeps her there because she doesn't think she can do any better. Don't tell me you don't because I know you do. Madam Frazier, let me say this to you. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to invest in the mother of your children. I want you to make sure your two daughters, 
know what it is to be independent, to be strong, to, be, to have self-esteem, and to care for who they are on their own. I want you to go home. I want you to find whatever it is you need to do in order to make enough income to make him optional. And then, once he becomes optional, you begin to dictate terms about what you do want and what you don't want, because this is not what you want for your daughters, and your daughters never do what you tell them to do. They do what they see you doing. You don't want this. You're half broken right now, and he don't even care. Never wow. did. He That's never did ne care. Daddy he never, never cares. Cares. Ease and cares. He never cares. I'd be in the living room crying at night, and he'd just be in the room asleep. Like, but I I'm get up saying this is I'm your gonna... life to take back. This is your opportunity to be someone who you want to be. Don't listen to what he says to you. You go home, decide what you want to do, where you want to be, what you need to do to have enough money to be comfortable and to take care of your children. And all of the while, continue to maintain contact. If you want to go into counseling, go into counseling personally. You don't need to be in it with him. You know, because people, if you want to go into group counseling or couples counseling, both people have to be in it to win it. He's not. No, he he's don't. in it to keep you down. Right. And I'm saying, get up. Just get up. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, I hope you prove me wrong. I don't I think wrong. you will. I don't. I don't think he's you will. Gonna he's not going to change. Because he's, he's, he's been, been like at it too day long. One and it's still just going to keep constantly... You've like broken her. Face. You've broken her. That just and let me say it. this to you. You continue to defend yourself against the wrongs he contends you're doing. And I'm telling you, you ain't got to defend yourself. You ain't got to explain yourself. You don't have to... You don't... He's, he's breaking your spirit purposefully. He's doing it to keep you down, to keep you there. And I'm telling you that you need to go into counseling for yourself. And you're going to pay for it, aren't you, my brother? Because <laughs> <laughs> you care about who she is. Because you care, because you're going to prove me wrong. He oh, said, you're going to prove me wrong with your wallet you. and allow her to get counseling. I would, no, I would be you pay for it. Counseling can't help me because they don't live in our house. See, so. you're explaining it again. You don't owe me an explanation. You don't know him an explanation. You don't know anybody an explanation. Right. He says bad things because he's doing bad things to you. Right. It has nothing to do with you. I tell you, you are a strong woman. You're an intelligent woman. You need counseling to get your self-esteem, to get where your IQ is, and then you keep it moving. Do you understand what I'm telling yes, you? Yes, don't ever repeat nothing he says to you no more because it, it's irrelevant. But, but wait, wait a minute, Aunt. It's irrelevant. Yeah, Aunt, that, that's not, We are that's going not true. to make him optional from the, today forward. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. That's not. That's not. That's not. Aunt, that's, that's not true at all. What you say? That's not true at all, though. Yeah. I, oh yeah, it is. No, it's not. Been out there forever. That's not. I know what. It, I know what's true. That's not true. Right. I think you're fabulous, and I know more than he does. Yes, I am. I, am I think she's fabulous. I can't give you hundred forty dollars for boots for trailing around a fold. Just can't do it. But I wish you the best. Yes, ma'am. And he should, he should pay for counseling. Prove me wrong. Show me the receipt. I'll prove you wrong. This matter is adjourned.